डॉक्टर नोरा लुजेंडर्फ यूरोपियन स्पेस एजेंसी ईसा का खगोलविद हुन् उनी सन् 2015 देखि अमेरिकाको बाल्टिमोर स्थित स्पेस टेलिस्कोप साइंस इन्स्टिट्यूटमा जेम्स वेब स्पेस टेलिस्कोपका निम्ति एक उपकरण वैज्ञानिकका रूपमा कार्यरत छिन् जेम्स वेब स्पेस टेलिस्कोप मानव इतिहासकै सबैभन्दा ठूलो स्पेस टेलिस्कोप हो जुन गत डिसेम्बर 25 क्रिसमसका दिन साउथ अमेरिकाको फ्रेन्च गिनियाबाट एरियन 5 रकेट मार्फत अन्तरिक्षमा प्रक्षेपण गरिएको थियो 10 अरब अमेरिकी डलर खर्च गरेर अमेरिकाको नेशनल एरोनोटिक्स एन्ड स्पेस एडमिनिस्ट्रेसन नासाले ईसा र क्यानेडियन स्पेस एजेन्सी सँगको सहकार्यमा यो अन्तरिक्ष वेधशाला निर्माण गरेको हो यति बेलासम्म जेम्स वेबका सनशेल्ड 18 वटा प्राइमरी ऐनाहरू एउटा सेकेन्डरी ऐना लगायत सम्पूर्ण महत्त्वपूर्ण अंगप्रत्यंगहरू निर्धारित स्थानमा स्थापित भइसकेका छन् विज्ञान कला र व्यवस्थापनको अनुपम सिर्जना जेम्स वेब स्पेस टेलिस्कोप यतिखेर पृथ्वीबाट लगभग 13 लाख किलोमिटर टाढा यात्रारत छ र अब केही दिनमै आफ्नो गन्तव्य स्थल लगभग 15 लाख किलोमिटर टाढा L2 मा पुग्ने छ यहीबाट यस टेलिस्कोपले अन्तरिक्षको अवलोकन अन्वेषण र अध्ययन गर्ने छ विश्व विज्ञान प्रेमी र वैज्ञानिक जगतले एक महान उत्सवका रूपमा यस क्षणलाई मनाइरहँदा हामीले डाक्टर नोरा लुजेन्डर्फसित यसै सेरोफेरोमा रहेर कुराकानी गरेका छौं। Could you please shed some light on your experience working in JWST? Why did you choose to work on JWST? I've been working for JWST since 2015 when I moved here to the US and um, I've been loving that job ever since. Um, I wanted to work for it because it's observing, it's going to observe a lot of black holes uh, and I'm a big fan of black holes and because it's the biggest telescope in space so far. This telescope is the first place to be the first Dr. Nora Lusenderf is a near-infrared spectrograph near-spec upakaran. यो उपकरण हाम्रो आँखाले देख्न नसक्ने 0.6 देखि 5 माइक्रोन का प्रकाश तरंगको अवलोकन गर्ने उपकरण हो आजभन्दा 13 अरब 80 करोड वर्ष पहिले यस विश्व ब्रह्माण्डको उत्पत्ति र विस्तार भएको वैज्ञानिकहरू विश्वास गर्छन् यस टेलिस्कोपको एउटा प्रमुख उद्देश्य प्राचीन ब्रह्माण्डमा बनेका पहिलो तारा र पहिलो ग्यालेक्सीको अवलोकन गर्नु हो र नियर स्पेक उपकरणले यही उद्देश्य परिपूर्ति गर्न मदत गर्नेछ what excites me the most on JWST is the unknown, the things that we don't think of yet that it will discover. It was the same with Hubble. We sent it up to do certain things, but then it discovered so many more things that we even think about. And that's kind of the thing I'm hoping for with JWST. Maybe we will discover life on other planets, but maybe we will discover something completely different. So I'm excited about the unknown. झट्ट हेर्दा नै मन लोभ्याउने जेम्स वेब स्पेस टेलिस्कोप विज्ञान प्रविधिका हिसाबले जटिल बहुआयामिक र अत्यन्तै शक्तिशाली टेलिस्कोप हो भनिन्छ 36 किलोमिटर टाढा रहेको एउटा 5 पैसाको सिक्कालाई पनि बच्चाले स्पष्ट देख्ने क्षमता यस टेलिस्कोपमा छ भनिन्छ 
विश्वका चौदहवटा देशका तीन सय छ भन्दा बढी विज्ञान संस्थानहरू तथा हजारौँ वैज्ञानिक इन्जिनियर प्राविधिकहरूको सहकार्यमा बनेको यस टेलिस्कोपको सफल प्रक्षेपण भइसक्यो अब वैज्ञानिकहरू कस्तो खाले नवीन अध्ययनको अपेक्षा गरिरहेका छन् त अनि आम नागरिकलाई उत्साहित बनाउने के कस्ता अध्ययन होला नि त what kind of science will excite laymen? So the science that the community is expecting for JWST is, uh, has four parts. We uh, want to observe the early universe, that is the first part. Because JWST is observing in the infrared, we will be able to look much further back into the universe than Hubble could. We will be able to see the first stars and galaxies forming. Uh, and that is very exciting. The second part uh, we are interested in is the evolution and the formation of galaxies and their black holes. We know that galaxies looked very different in the past. They were very fuzzy, small objects. And now they're those big spirals and elliptical galaxies. And we want to study how those uh, formed from those fuzzy objects to the big uh, galaxies that we know nowadays and how the black holes played a role and evolved with the galaxies. The third topic is um, related to stars and planets, how the stars formed and how they formed their planetary systems inside their gas and dust clouds. Because JWST will be able to look through those gas and dust into the centers of those stars and their birthplaces. Um, and the fourth a big topic for us is exoplanets, the atmospheres of exoplanets and uh, if there might be life on exoplanets. I think this is also the most exciting for the general public. People are always interested if there is life on other planets. And yeah, maybe we can answer this with Webb. Could you please share some of your best memories working on the JWST team? Uh, it was always great to work on the JWST team. We had a lot of great uh, memories together. We had to do cryo vacuum tests where we would put the entire telescope in a really, really big cryo vacuum chamber to simulate space. And then we were working 24 hours to monitor our instrument. And that happened in NASA Goddard and in NASA Johnson. And there were always like interesting parts happening during this time. In Goddard, we were snowed in by a snowstorm, for example. And in Johnson, we had to fight a full-fledged hurricane uh, at the time we were testing. Uh, and then there's many other small memories that I have with the team. We are a really great team here. We love to work together. Uh, there are many youngsters who look up to you and have been dreaming of becoming a scientist like you. What would you like to say to them? Is there any success mantra formula? To become a scientist like me, I think the best thing is to just follow your dreams and follow what you're good at and you will succeed. It is not an easy path, but uh, if you stick to what you like to do and if you find good people who can be your allies and your mentors, this is very important. Find somebody who can guide you and can help you in your process. Don't be afraid to ask people and don't be uh, disappointed by setbacks because this happens to everybody. Um, and yeah, just, just do what you like to do. Dr. Nora Kukura Sunepachi, Yala Pani James Webb Space Telescope Keho, Kotrucha, Kahatsa, Adi Ityadi, Top Rocha Kuraharu, Aze Kotana, or Washaman Payola. Eskaninti, the Pai Nasako website Makoira, where is James Webb Bonera, Kosna Saknunta.